what's up guys welcome back to the channel on today's episode we are going to be continuing our pokemon sword adventure on the last episode we had just defeated um the um the rock gym and uh yeah we're continuing on our way our pokemon look as such we've got sir mohawk steroids nebby kermit prism and cryptic flash my guy but uh yeah on the on the last episode uh one of our viewers pointed out uh that i said um that mudkip evolved into for alligator <laughs> that was an oversight on my part obviously he evolves into a swampert uh so i named my mudkip reptar for no reason i i first i don't know why i thought you know that he evolved into a for alligator when that's not the you know not it at all um so anyways we are going to uh you know we completed that um that gym so we can go to the wild area i uh you know i forgot about all the times that you know after a gym we can go get uh, a pokemon from the wild area a random encounter uh, you know, I totally forgot that I made that a rule. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head on out of here. And uh, I believe there's a cutscene after this. Yep. The battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some news I want to talk to you about. So let's head to the restaurant and so celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Alright. Well, how's your guys' is uh How's your guys' is Tuesday going? Mine's going well. I uh You know, I'm I'm having an okay day. School is uh whooping my butt, but uh that happens. Hope your uh, your week's going well, or not your week, but your weekend went well and and everything. Not that gym badge, Gingy. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day in the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. I'm excited to see what the legends are. Like, are they actually going to be Zacian and Eternus? Eternatus? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out once we get to that point. But, uh, guys, we are almost to 150 subscribers. I think we are, uh, what, 18 away? So, if we could get there by, I don't know, by the first week of March, which probably won't happen because this video is going to release after March. So, maybe uh, second week of March, if we could get to uh, 150 subscribers, that would be awesome. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I do got um, some awesome news. Uh, we will be starting a new series. Uh, we're going to be doing a collaboration with my guy Smoosh. And um, super excited for that. Uh, I've already uh, created the overlays uh, for them. I'm working on the, um, the thumbnails now. Um, so once I get the thumbnails all, all together, we're going we're gonna to start. And this will be a, a series that... Um, that goes out every uh, Monday and Wednesday. Uh, Monday on my channel and Wednesday on Smoosh's channel. Um, so that's super exciting. Um, yeah. Super excited for that. I'm not going to give you any hints or anything about what it is. Um, it is, a, a, you know, it does have the traditional Nuzlocke rules. But uh, 
there's a bit of a bit of a curveball in there that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Oh look, it's a hot spring. The hero's bath. They say is this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that ba bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in Slumbering Weld. Perhaps you two can become the new heroes. Wait, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though, I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Genji? Think we can pull off a real her heroic battle? Sonya treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the en energy to wrestle a beware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Genji, so give it your best. Well, thank you. Time for a little exhibition match, starring the future champion. Alright, well, let's see what you got, Oh hop Thievil? A shiny Thievil. Nice. That's pretty sweet. He's not the coolest looking shiny. Comatose. Oh, he's, he's drowsy. Getting ready to fall asleep. Oh, sacred sword, this guy. Mm. Take it. Now that's a proper move. Confuse Ray. When did he learn Confuse Ray? Okay. I'm a bit confused, that's okay. Shouldn't he have fell asleep already? Well guys, if, if, I know you probably have seen it already, but we did lose our first match in the draft league. Uh, we lost 3-0. Um, we kind of took a, a beating there at the beginning, but we kind of turned it around um, there towards the end to take out three of his Pokemon. But he was difficult. I'll give him that. He was he was super difficult. Um, he, he caught me off surprise because I was planning on him, or well, I prepped for him to run. Uh, webs with Rabombi and he didn't and that kind of um, That kind of um, Flustered me a bit You know when you when you're preparing for something, you know all week and you see um, We're gonna go I'm not even sure what type this Pokemon is. We're going to go into Kermit. Um, but you prep all week for one thing and then he doesn't do it. It uh, it kind of flusters you. And, and I, I have to admit, I was I was super flustered. And it just it went downhill from there. It all started when first I didn't see the Rabombi. And then when I threw in my... Uh, um, When I threw in my um, crocodile to don't tell me this is gonna kill. Okay. Um, when I put in my crocodile at at the very beginning, I did not expect Diggersby to have U-turn. And so he hit me with a U-turn, and it, it, it took Crookendile down to nothing.
and it, it just went downhill from there. But we've got uh, another coach um, this week, so I'm I'm confident that we'll pull off the victory against uh, um, Coach Matt. And I honestly, I forget what his team is called. I can't really remember. Um, but uh, I'm pretty confident against those guys. He's got a decent team, but I don't think he'll be able to uh, compete with us. Well, the only, I think the only thing on his team that I really have to be worried about is the, uh, the Grassy Glide Rillaboom. I think that's the only thing I have to be worried about. Um, other than that, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty easy. But I really, I mean, I really don't have a, like a, a dedicated fire type to take on that Rillaboom. I guess I have like, um... I have um, I have my Cinderace, you know, with Pyro Ball. So I guess I I couldn't use that. That's probably not a bad idea. Well, I mean, I will use that, but I want some other options too. I've got uh, um, a Fire Punch Electivire. I think you can also learn Heat Crash. I don't even know what what kind of Pokemon this is. If you know, leave it in the comment section below. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. But yeah, so I I thought about making some changes to the lineup, but I'm not sure who I would drop and who I would pick up. There's some options out there. I'm kind of weighing my options. Um, kind of thinking about getting rid of um, what? What is Beware? What? Uh, what typing is Beware? Is he a normal type? Let me check real quick. Do do. Beware is a normal and fighting type. So, who do I have in right now? Who's, who's? Okay, so Sir Mohawk's in there. We'll just stay with Sir Mohawk. But yeah, some. I'm not sure, hundred percent sure. I thought about picking up. Um, Actually, you know, I'm not even gonna say nothing because uh, one of uh, one of the uh, well, actually, all of the guys in the uh, in the PWD are subscribed to my channel, so I don't want to get give away any of my top secrets. You know what I'm saying? As if I have any secrets, I just don't want to give them up. Kermit wants to learn Fairy Wind. The user stirs up a fairy wind and strikes the target with it. I'll pass. Thanks, though. Explode. X Blown. He's such a cool looking Pokemon. Look, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Alright. 
We need one more Pokemon so we can combine our Sogaleo and Necrozma. Alakazam. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Sorry guys, I was getting a drink. Um, let's go into Prism. Oh, it's Alakazam, such a classic Pokemon. Oh, we're friends now. You decreased my attack. But I Shadow Bone you. And it did nothing. That's okay. On a, another Pokemon related topic, did you guys see Logan Paul pull those first edition Charizards on his live stream on Saturday? That is crazy. Those are like $700,000 cards. That's like so much money in the palm of your hand. Like, I couldn't imagine. Like, the, you know what the messed up thing is? Like, when I was when I was younger, like, I had these cards. Like, I had first edition Chansey. I had a first edition Charizard. First edition Blastoise. But, like, I, I don't know where they went. Like, I used to have them in, like, card books. And I could not tell you where those card books went. Like, not at all, and it kind of kind of makes me depressed seeing the first edition Charizard going for $393,000 on this auction site. It's pretty crazy. You know, $300,000 could help your boy out. You know what I'm saying? But, eh, that's neither here nor there. All right, so we just gave Hop a butt whooping. We are going to, well, first we're gonna grab this. Icicle Spear, nice. Okay, I believe we go this way. Down here. And this way, not this way, down here, yeah, that's it. And we're on Route 9. This is a new route, guys. So we can get uh, a random encounter and an exclamation point encounter here. Hopefully, we'll get something good. We now can catch Pokemon up to level 50. So that's very good for us. Oh, remember, guys, we also need to go back to Route 8 so we can get our two encounters there. There was some good stuff. There was a Zarud, a Skeptile, and a Zerkatry. And we want them both. So, let's first do this one. Ooh, so I think our random encounter, we're going to do a water encounter. Be considered our exclamation point encounter. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. I'm Panchan. I don't know if we've caught a Panchan. But, uh, 
We got one now. He's got Intimidate. I like it. We'll go ahead and hit him with a quick ball. Oh, hopefully he does. Oh, Jesus. Doom, doom, doom. Uh, I don't want to kill him. So I'm going to switch to a Pokemon that won't kill him. We're going to Nebby here. But, uh, yeah. So we should get, um, four encounters this, uh, this, um, this episode. We'll go ahead and miss this sacred sword. He's going to hit us with dive. That's okay. We're just gonna U turn. Oh, baby doll eyes. He does got some big old eyes. Oh, that did a lot less than what I was even thinking it was gonna do. Lord. Um, I guess we'll just go into steroids here and see if we can throw a Pokeball and uh, catch it here. Yeah, it's in the yellow. We should be able to catch it. Alright, Panchan. What? What is this? What is this sorcery? I don't catch this pan chain quick. I have problems. I don't want to hit it again because I'm just going to do a bunch of damage to it. That's not what I want to do. One, two, three. Oh, come on. It just keeps taking down my attack. At this point, I'm going to be able to hit him with a... I mean, he's eventually going to die. So that's why I'm trying not to... Not to attack him, because he's going to die to the... Uh, the hail. I mean, I think he's destined to just die. At this point, he's just destined to die. Because there's really nothing I can do. Because he just won't go into the ball. I guess I could shockwave him. Oh, now you got Wandering Spirit, son. What's up? Go ahead and get buffeted by the hail. Just go into the ball, man. Get in the ball. I'm about to just kill him, guys. I don't need him. I don't need him on the team. I mean, he's only got a few more chances, and that's it. Yeah, he's only got a few more chances, and he's going to die. Oh, Jesus. You know what? If this kills him, he was meant to die. He was meant to die. Alright, so we missed our first encounter. He was meant to die through like five Pokeballs, or five Ultra Balls at him, and he died. So, uh, yeah, he was meant to die. 
and we are going to get an overworld encounter, which is, there's a volcano in there. We have a dupe clause, so that's not going to work. I guess we'll go back this way. Close our eyes and walk towards whatever. Nothing. Jesus, there's like, there's all that's here is this dang, this volcano, and I've already got a volcano. Can't catch him again. Can't catch him anyways. Very strong looking. Actually, what we're going to do, guys, we're just going to skip this area. And we're going to go back to Route 8. So, let's go here, town map. And we're going to go back to Route 8. Can I fly over there? No. Got to go back here. We'll go back here. And then we'll go this way. Back to Route 8. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh Jesus. There's a Zekrom. He wanted me. Do we count it? <laughs> I mean, he chased me down. There was nothing I could do there. He chased me down. Let's see if the the Zerud and Zerkatry are still over here. And if they are, then that's who we're going for. There's the Mudkip that I thought was going to evolve into a Feraligator. It's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, didn't I already battle you once? Oh my god. Musician Charles is going to send out a lantern. Send out Sir Mohawk here. Definitely going to swap Pokemon. This. Uh, let's go into Kermit here. Yeah, we'll go into Kermit. This is a water electric, so I'm going to hit him with uh, the old pedal blizzard. Take him out. What'd you boost? You boost your attack. Special attack. Okay. Alright. Lantern is down. There's the res the, z the, z the rude. All right, so we're gonna go up here, close our eyes, and walk this direction. There he is, the rude. I mean, I guess it's really not random because I knew he was right here, but uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna swap Pokemon here. Um, we don't want to kill him. We're definitely not using Dragon Tail because the last time I used that, I screwed myself. And uh, yeah, I did. I screwed myself. Um, let's see. We'll go into Cryptic Flash. Oh, look at him. Oh, Crush Grip. Okay. Just gonna smack down. 
I'll give me a little throw chop action. Oh. Take this. Uh, did nothing. Uh, we're gonna try this guy attack. If he dies, he dies. Doubt he does, though. Look at this frog leap. Shoom. Could die. Did absolutely nothing. Alright, so we're going to swap Pokemon here. Um, don't really have nothing that will work. Very good. I guess we'll go into uh, Hermit here. Trying to get this Zarude going. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Rip! Rip Kermit! No, buddy! Oh my gosh! Why didn't I? And I just seen. <sighs> And I just seen the Petal Blizzard. Like, he literally just used that on a cryptic. Like, why why don't I put two and two together? We're gonna try a Pokemon. Let's see. Uh-huh. He's lower level than me. We'll use a Premier Ball. Come on, brother. Get into the ball, Zarude. Get in the ball, brother. One. Two. Three. No! So close. Oh, no. Hit itself with confusion. It's poisoned. Oh, God. Come on. Get into the balls, rude. One, two, three. Let's go. Zarude was caught. Ah, Kermit, Kermit, Kermit. You were a good friend, brother. Yes, we'll give um, Zarude a nickname. What is Zarude? Hmm. I got one. That's Rafiki. Yeah. For sure. We're adding him to the party. It's getting swapped out for Kermit. Kermit. It was good knowing you, buddy. You did very well on the squad. Um, but, uh, me being a complete idiot got you killed. I'm sorry. I hope you forgive me. Rafiki has been added to the party. Alright, there's a circuitry there. We need to get our, actually, I think we've already got our exclamation point encounter for this route. Um, Back up. Back away from me. Actually, we might not have. Because I think it was... Yeah, we never did because we could only... Because they were too strong. Okay, let's go see if we can... There it is. What is it? What? Do you see? What? No way! No way! 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't want to kill her. Oh gosh, we need like some not effective moves here. Doing Oblivion Ring, Freezing Glare. Oh, this could, this could kill him. A crit! Okay, did absolutely nothing. Oh, it has color change? Oh my gosh. It's going to Nebby here. Dude, our luck is turning around. I mean, I don't want, I just don't want to do too much damage on it, is what it is. This should just do minuscule damage. Yeah, perfect. Oh, jeez. I got burned. Alright, we'll hit her with a couple more of these. Yeah, my attack so low. I've got nothing. Alright, so I'm going to throw some balls at it. Come on, Deancey. Let's go. Come on, one. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be tough. Oh, I avoided the attack. Nice. Okay. Um. What's the probability that this bad boy paralyzes? Jesus. We can get her paralyzed. I think we'll do good. She's an electric type now. Okay. She's using Ice Burn again. Might be the only move she's got. Oh, besides Freezing Glare. Please. Okay. She's going back to Fighting Type. She's Ice Burning again. Okay. She ice burned me again. Alright, let's throw a premier ball at her again. Come on. One. Ugh. She's gonna be hard to catch, man. She's gonna be really hard to catch. Let me go ahead and bag and full restore this bad boy. Let's use a hyper potion. I'm Nebby here. Okay. We're already burned. And it does nothing. So we're getting hurt more by the burn than we are by her moves. So we'll continue. Hit her with another sacred sword here. I mean, it's doing absolutely nothing. But we just need to get her low enough. Alright, we got one more Premier Ball. Come on, Deancey. One. Two. Three. Let's go. Let's go. Deancey was caught. Oh. 
and we will give her a nickname. I'm just going to keep it simple. We're going to call her Pink Diamond. Like NBA 2K. Pink Diamond. Um, let's check her summary out. Let's see what she's got going on. Rock and Fairy. She's got Freezing Glare, Flatter, Ice Burn, and Leaf Age. Jesus. Her special attack is super low. She's got good defense. Got good speed. Got good special defense. Decent attack. Okay. We're actually, I think we're just going to put her in the box for now. And then we're going to combine the Necrozma and the Sogaleo. And then we'll put her in our team. That was nuts. All right, guys. To finish off this video, we are going to head here. And we are going to um, combine our Sogaleo and our uh, Necrozma. What? Or is it this guy? One of these guys. <laughs> sure. I'm going to get a metal coat. Okay. Are these the guys that you talk to? Hmm. I believe those guys are the talk the guys that you talk to, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm gonna figure that out and um yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, we did beat Hop. We caught a Zarud and a Diancy. Crazy enough. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to do some research on how to combine my Sogaleo and my uh, Necrozma. And I will see you guys on the next episode with a combined Sogaleo and Necrozma. You guys have yourself a fantastic week, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a good one.